Wait, what, are, what, are we, what are we testing right now? Just Hello. Go, uh, this is our intro. No, 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 what? no. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. David, David. Say ah. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Can I get an ah? Uh? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. What are you doing? Um, we have a guest. Don't worry about guest. it. We have a guest. We have a guest. David, <laughs> we're, not, we're not talking to you. We're not talking to you right now. You're not, you don't up. exist. You don't exist. Okay. You don't exist. Hi. Um, hi. How was Vegas? Oh, yeah. Oh, three, two, one. Hello. Hello. Hello, 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 <laughs> Season four, an mm. episode where we have guests apparently now. Mm-hmm. We're trying our best to bring it back. We have <laughs> we, good guests. What do you mean? <laughs> yes. We had my ex on the pod. We had Amp. We have my other love interest. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Oh, yeah. We'll get into it. I don't we'll know. talk about it. We'll when talk this about comes that later. Out, when this comes out, the show will have fully been out, but we'll get there. David, we'll say hi. There. Hello. Shut up. Who do I look at? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tell, me, bit more. tell me about Vegas. Tell me about Vegas. Yeah, so I went to Vegas this weekend. Uh, this, not weekend, this week. We mm-hmm. <laughs> went during the weekday. It was fun. I mean, I didn't do that much. I'm not I'm not a Vegas person. I'm not a partier like you. Yeah, I I'm know. I'm not waking up at a mansion after being... Did I call you last time I was in Vegas? I don't know. When, was when I was in Vegas? fucking someone in an orgy in a penthouse at the Cosmopolitan? That's exactly what I was about to mention. Because I was... Yeah. <laughs> Why, you did an orgy in the Vegas? No, we didn't do an orgy in Vegas. Oh, then you didn't do Vegas. <laughs> Apparently. I will. You, everyone does Vegas differently. Everyone does Vegas differently. We went for the shows. There's the right the way and the wrong mostly. way. There's, There's the right way, no and way. then there is the wrong <laughs> way. Wow. Do you gamble? David, shut up. Just shut, we're not. David, shut up. You're not, you're shut, not here yet. David, when you, when you need to speak, we'll tell you to speak. <laughs> now, as I was saying. <laughs> What did you do in Vegas? We just saw shows. We saw shows. We walked around drunk. What? Sh- okay. I saw Cirque du Soleil oh, and Jabberwockies. Oh. Did you go in any Chippendales or strippers? No. Under, under, under? No. Bitch. Guess what? Not to brag. Why would I? Why would I? Why would I be teased like that by a bunch of straight men? Okay. I'm, I refuse. I'm. <laughs> remember how you yelled at me because I always shit on your idea when you're alley ooping something? <laughs> Have you listened back to the last new podcast? <laughs> have you listened back? What have I been shitting down? Am I shitting down your Chippendale? Yes, because. My voice is correct. <laughs> Puberty. So, uh, they slid into my DMs. What they say? Oh, they want you to. They want you to. They want you to chip the Dale. Guess who might do a Chippendale show? Guess who has no rhythm and might do a Chippendale show? Chippendale Guess just, who might just shake your hips really fast? Guess who has no rhythm with massive body issues but might do a Chippendale show? It'll be real funny if I do. David might do it with me. Oh, is he I here will? now? David, shut is up. He... <laughs> David, when you need to speak, David, we'll tell stop. you to speak. <laughs> just, just, you asked me just, a question. Stop. I didn't ask you shit. You looked at me. B- b- play it back. Don't play it back. Don't play it back. back. Don't, Don't play it back. back. Play it back. back. Don't rewind. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? What did you do this weekend? I paid $30,000 in taxes. Um, and then I... And then that's it. Yeah. That's- <laughs> I, I cried. I started a business, uh, my official business. Oh, by the way, this is also my last episode of the podcast ever because I quit. Oh, yeah. You have to quit now. I quit. Oh, yeah. Someone. I'm officially Max's last update episode. Update on Mike's life. Someone bought his other um, business idea. Was it Mike and Moderation? Mike and Moderation. I was so excited. Someone bought Mike and, and Moderation. And let me say, Matt, cover your ears because I know you don't like when I verbally harass the people that listen what? to us because you know we're supposed to be nice to us. Go you ahead. You know how like we're supposed to be nice to them? Yeah. Listen here, you fucking bitch. Okay. You are so fucking stupid because not only did you steal my at, you followed yourself. You were the only one being followed by that account and it's mutual. So if you don't think I screenshotted it and have a random lift ready to fucking pull up with our two asses in there, because you motherfucker, they wanted $3,000 for the domain. I would have paid you 60 bucks. I would have paid you for the at. You fucking cunt. Oh, you dumbass. Bitch. Am I allowed to say cunt? I don't know. I mean, in UK, everyone says it. You're yeah. British now. I'm Australian. 
Right, David? <laughs> See? Wow, See? wow, wow. This, this is how you train them into submission. Yes. Get a treat. <laughs> Someone get a treat. <laughs> this is good. Can we introduce him? Because I don't have anything to talk about. Should we introduce him? Yeah. Because we'll, we'll, we'll talk about my segment. Vegas trip. Wait, no. I, I got more about Vegas. Go. Um, It was hot. I'm just trying to prolong this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hold, on. Wait. Hold on. I'm so sorry. David, if you don't shut the fuck. <laughs> yeah, we can introduce them. I yeah. have nothing else to say. Well, you don't have a gay agenda because I have a um, segment. It's David. <laughs> Is that your hookup time? Wait. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it then. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, he is from um, TV. Uh, he's done. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let's see if Mac did any research on our guest. Oh, no. After okay. I after no. I put okay. up, David, don't you fucking okay. say a word. Uh, okay. David, okay. by the way, you're doing great. <laughs> um, as you know, I put together the guest. We film in the place. Mac, what is David from? What does David do? What is he originally from? What What was David's original show? He's been on two that you know of. We've talked about them. On Weren't the you on? You were on that show about like a hotel, right? Was it like Paradise Hotel or something? Was that what it's called? He, you, you can, can talk see. now. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was I was waiting. I was waiting. <laughs> Good boy! It's so good. It's oh, great. You go. I was I was waiting for the official okay. I was trying to give hand hand signals and gestures. You do you do yes. that? Yes, I'm surprised you know that because I think. When, you, of, when we when, when we met for the first time, you told me you were on that show. I was like, oh, I never saw it. When did. did you guys meet? At your, At your birthday. birthday. I was on drugs. <laughs> I was on so many drugs. I was on drugs. Okay, well, now back to us. I was so <laughs> severely sober that night. <laughs> <laughs> so was Mac. No, you were drinking. I was kind of sober. I had a stomach ache. Yeah. So I couldn't drink. Was tired. I was really intimidated the first time I met you because I was like, oh my God, he's so funny. And you're just sitting there just not feeling well. I was like, oh my God, he hates me. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone thinks I hate them when they first meet me. But yeah, I wasn't feeling well. <laughs> so was probably an extra more anger on my face. <laughs> There's a lot of, me and David got to know each other that night. Well, no, you, how did we meet? How did we meet? We didn't get to know each other at your birthday. At we I kissed. Think. That was the first time. <laughs> that was the first time we ever kissed. And it took me the whole night to get like the remember. courage to do it. I don't and remember. you forgot about it. I had no recollection. No it. recollection. None. That, that was such a big <laughs> moment for me. That was such a like, I'm going to finally physically act upon like the feelings that I've been contemplating and thought about for the last couple of years. This is his first kiss with a boy. Don't remember. Sorry to this man. I'm you like, 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 like a week, a week before that, I invited you over to like my garage gym to work out with you, and I was like, I'm gonna tell Mike that I've had a crush on him today. Yeah, midway through biceps. I remember it was I'm, very broy. <laughs> no, he could reenact. Hey, like, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> I was standing by the kettlebells. Mike was doing bicep curls. Mm. I turned over and told Mike, Mike, I've had a crush on you for years. Mike said, "Wow, bro. No way. You're not the only one." I shit you not. It, Probably so, like I, I remember I, I looked creatine. at you and you just looked at me like I was just fucking with you and you just well, turned back around. I didn't around know and what to say. Went, but the thing, you know what the thing is? I thought you were confused, okay. and I know you now. You're not okay. But in the beginning, I got to say I thought he was confused only because it's not like I wasn't ready and willing, <laughs> and he didn't jump on it, and I was just like, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Arisa and I like to describe Mike like a golden retriever. As soon as you give him attention, he'll yes. pounce on you. Yeah, so. <laughs> I've been trying to. I was also just very nervous. Yeah, no, he's he, David. We're gonna talk about. You're gonna get to know him a little this podcast, and it'll make sense. But it leads into the show because we all we got to know each other better on the show. Yeah. Right. Okay. Am I still guessing where he's from? Or well, did we just forget that. Let's talk about you. Said you got one thing right. <laughs> Paradise Hotel. You also did X on the Beach and uh, the wet, the real, the real, the real, the real that, man of West Hollywood. That show you yes. talked a lot of shit about. <laughs> I had to edit part of it out. <laughs> Someone talked about you're that like, show. Wait, no, I might. <laughs> Someone talked about that show. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I think you are the biggest account that we've had to talk about our show. Great, Honestly, wonderful. Don't watch that episode though. I have. High, you know what? <laughs> and I said on the pod. I said on the pod. I that show confused me. I felt like it could have been good, but it the casting should have been different. The straight yes. men ruined your show. Yes, in my opinion, the the, the Brennan Lynn. They did. They did. They. Were, it was a bunch of, oh, uh, bro. Oh no, we're cool. <laughs> and it was like, what Hollywood? the fuck is this? Ew. We were yeah, killing each other. I'm like, that's you're not reality TV. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Not you. Not you. <laughs> they were a YouTuber and and like a wannabe, like 
Instagram mods. Oh, fucking YouTubers. <laughs> fucking YouTubers. The worst. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I, it was just the worst. No, don't apologize. You're right. No, I'm just going <laughs> to stick with it. Yeah, they're the worst. <laughs> so, like, t- um, tell me, okay, what show, before we talk about X on the Beach, did you like better? Which was, what What did you enjoy better filming hmm. and why? I, I also did uh, Nikita Dragon Unfiltered, her little Snapchat show, too. You did? I you did. dated Nikita Dragon? I dated, I dated Nikita Dragon. I have her cell phone number. Did you fuck? Wow. Did I fuck? Yeah. I guess you have to watch the show. No, the th- no, the the, the thing show. was like, <laughs> I got to know her pretty well on camera, off camera. They were like, "Oh, we want you to wait till the season's over, and mm-hmm. you guys can date." I was very interested, but actually, about a week after we finished wrapping, Nikita Unfiltered X on the Beach called me, and I was like, "Well, if I get into, I'm not going to be the next Michael Yerger, like go into whole, a whole public thing and then leave her for a reality show." And she just blasts my name. Oh, uh, that's everything. her. That's her ex. That wasn't. There was like a whole debacle. Yeah. I don't know what was going yeah. on. I'm I mean, not she, informed. Now. She's she's she was really nice <laughs> behind the scenes, but yeah, I filmed her show. It was a lot of fun, but probably the one I had that was actually probably the one that I had the most fun filming. Paradise Hotel. Um, I was still in college at the time. It was just pretty much like every other like kind of crush I ever had. I was like, oh my god, I think she likes me, and mm-hmm. we came home, and she was like, no, that was just for TV. I never wanted to be with you. Okay, Aww. so I was like, it was kind of my like. I was fresh out of baseball. I played baseball up until the year before I got hurt. Mm. Had no idea what I was doing. It got casted for, I mean, I'm sure I can say it now. Like, I got casted for Love Island season one, was on their final board. Paradise Hotel came out of nowhere and said, we'll put you on a plane in two weeks, guaranteed. Here's a contract. And I said, great. I, like, need a guarantee because I need to do something. Uh-huh. So mm-hmm. I ended up filming that show. Um, once again, I didn't know how to do TV. Didn't really know what I was doing, so I came off. You still young. don't. <laughs> what? Wow. I love making David uncomfortable. <laughs> I, Mike, you were like, there. there's a list of three men that I, who I've ever met who can just like stop me in my words and I'll just... Uh. Good boy. I'm such a top right now. I'm such a top. I, I love it because David looks like a top, but he's bottom energy, which is yeah. a weird because on the fluid scale... Breedable and submissive? Wow. No, but he's in the on the fluid scale. I think David leans a little more towards heterosexual, but he's... Is like you know me how I I feel like I lean more towards homosexual on that fluid scale. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's I'm more like I feel like I'm more likely to be with dudes at this point in my life, even though I do like women and that's why I identify as fluid. And I feel like David is like interested, but you haven't done anything. You've never have you you've never been with a man yet, have you? you no, you are the only guy who I've gone to that state with. But I mean, I've definitely that my th- whole thing was I've acknowledge and understood not you not this energy the, <laughs> not this i'm giving right mike way too much props right now <laughs> mm, um <laughs> but no i i once like i said I've, I've acknowledged and and talked about and gotten close to acting upon that that energy and those sexual attractions for the last i think it was about three years ago it was when i was a senior in college there was like a couple guys i was talking to just online over dms like there's one dude in new york uh, one dude in LA, he was like, oh, I'm about to like move away in a week. Like, do you want to come over? Yeah, careful. I did the same thing and I got sold into sex trafficking. How was Vegas? Like we always cover like <laughs> the um, same things about you on every podcast episode. Because people still are <laughs> like, why is there need to be up? bingo cards? That a Mike bingo card, a Mike on Messy Pod <laughs> bingo card. It's I just love making an awkward moment. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite things to do. It's like I can't make a joke back about that. Like, yeah, you can. You could be what, like, what? you could be like, hold on. Okay, hold on. I believe in you. You could be. New York Tiffany Pollard would never have this problem. <laughs> um, you could say, you could say, you could say, it'll come to me. Okay. When it does. Yeah, we're going to move on. When it does. Yeah. We're going to walk. We're gonna, so was gonna I almost on. baited into trafficking? What? What was so, the situation? What was your online screen name? Huh? What was your, you had to have a screen name. You weren't David Barda when you were talking to these men. It was on Instagram. Bullshit. It was. What? Yeah. I DM guys. So, I was like DL Jock 4-2. I was like 16. Yeah, it was, an, it was another guy in LA who I was DMing and he was like, hey, like you're really hot. And I was like, oh, I think you're really cute too. And he's like, oh, like, I'm actually moving out of town. If you want to meet up before I go, I originally said yes. I have a question. I totally pussied out. 
I have a question for you because we have a friend. We were actually talking about you the, the other day. I'm not going to say who it was. We have a friend who, and he's another gay guy in reality TV. Oh, and gasp, uh, gasp, Weird. and um, <laughs> I'll I tell you, you're going to know who it is. So okay, know, well. David still like talks like one of the bros, like mm-hmm. one of the straight bros talk. Sure, there's certain things that straight bros will say to each other, like jokingly in an argument that you can't say to gays. So like I think David was like joking jokingly was like suck my dick as like a joke and then he said he sent you a dick pic he's like oh well he said he said he sent, like one of our friends he, sent you a dick pic sent you a and dick then pic. you did dude this is why men need to stop and then he sent David a dick pic and then he goes and he never responded or just like wouldn't send it back I think I scared him off and I was like yeah he's probably kidding he's probably just like what and you probably scared the poor was that boy. recent I no I think it was like at least I don't a year think ago. it was recent because I don't I don't say that. Unless I mean it anymore. Or it's, no, no, that stuck with it. Or like, or something about a dick. And then he responded with an actual picture of his dick. And then I think the conversation ended there because <laughs> you're like a child. My, my thing, my, my, even men, women, anyone, I kind of get turned off and, and really timid when people are extremely aggressive up front. doesn't matter if it's a man or, or a woman. Like I've had plenty of women like in person or online. Like if they're to the point where it's like slide in your DMs, Hey, do you want to come over and fuck tonight? Like, mm. I no. Mm. Even if it's the most beautiful girl in the world, like, it it doesn't matter to me. Like, it, it's truly like I just that energy is so, it's so foreign and freaks me out. Just because I think it was really my background from. That's where I wanted to go. I think it really was that Randy. because I grew up Baptist Christian. I had a purity ring until I was about twenty years old. Oh, you had a purity ring. Yeah. So Ask. I've been. <laughs> now I'm not interested. <laughs> Oh, you had a purity ring. Was that your choice? No, it wasn't. So my parents, my my dad was a Baptist minister. My mom's inspiration okay. for the purity ring was seeing the Jonas Brothers have that. So when I was eleven, <laughs> my mom, my mom on TV watching the Jonas Brothers. It's funny enough because I'm wearing rings right now, but they are, they are not pure. These rings have been somewhere. Um, <laughs> me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. These two Maybe. smell like Mike. Oh my god, this thumb is a different story. Oh, bitch! I already <laughs> talk about how a finger would make me bleed. You wish those two things would fit inside me. Uh, uh-uh. uh, nothing goes inside me. Okay, continue. <laughs> right. <laughs> what was I saying? But yeah, my mom immediately pulled me in and said, "Like David, like you're gonna have this purity ring. Da da da. This is how it is." I was 11 years old. I didn't understand what sex was. I didn't. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. My, my parents pulled me out of sex, and so I literally did not know what sex was until close to when i lost my virginity with my the last girlfriend that i had when i was a sophomore in college when did didn't you like jerk off at like an extremely late age how Why old are you were just you? like le- putting this all out on the line you mean like actually you jerk off or like it. and this is our <laughs> this is messy are you tight like you think i would have censor when did you jerk off do you mean like with my hand or like on the cat like couch fucking shit so did you fuck you, you know about you that. your hand I didn't. I, I was actually honestly afraid to to touch. Dude. I'm gonna finish what I'm saying. I was actually afraid to touch my dick at first when I started self soothing at the okay. age of like 13 or 14. Okay. So I was just kind of you know at the couch. You were humping the couch. Yeah, and then I would just. I didn't would know. You, would you ejaculate into the couch? In my pants, actually. In your pants. And then I would put them in the wash. I hope my mom doesn't see this because. That's a lot of therapy. Oh, like it, the commercial of us kissing everywhere is like <laughs> the funniest thing was 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 when my mom Mac at this when when Mike was over at my place when we had a like a little family barbecue. My mom gets to meet Mike and mom and dad are having a great conversation. My mom pulls me over and she goes, David, is Mike gay? <laughs> <laughs> I said sometimes. <laughs> I, I looked. I looked. I looked at my Did mom. Did you Vogue into a party again? Me and Reese. <laughs> me and Reese. My. I looked at my mom and I was like, I don't know. I've never asked him. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came over and said hi. <laughs> Actually, God. what was the? Well, I, we can't. I, I had a. I had a. I had a conversation with them. I know David was worried about them finding or knowing he did anything with a guy on the show, and then it's like in every commercial. So, <laughs> yeah. Mike walks in the house and goes, "I was David's original love interest on X and the Beach." My dad looks at me and turns around and walks the other way, and it was. It's in the commercial. Well, that's not going to call me for another three months. You know, me and your dad had a good conversation, <laughs> though. Probably longer than ones I've had with I, him. Yeah. I, well, yeah. You get very nervous around your parents, I've noticed. Like, when your parents leave, you're much more relaxed. My dad didn't 
talk to me that much, too much growing up. So I'm like, I don't really like even like my sister say some stuff to me. Like my family's just not very close, which is an unfortunate truth. But like my sister would tell me, like she texted me something the other week, and I was like, I'm gonna be honest, man, I don't really know you like that. Like, why are you telling me this? Really? Yeah, her and I are just we're just not close. We just always kind of coexisted. But how my parents raised me is really just kind of letting me do my own thing. Because mm-hmm. I was always doing fine. I was doing, I was always doing okay. And I mean, really, I mean, it, it was a hard circumstance, but when I came off of X on the beach, I was like, I don't know when the show's going to come out and I don't want them to find out from TV, mm. you know, that I'm not straight, that I'm interested in men and women, everything else in between. Like mm. on my first show, that's how they found out I wasn't a virgin. And I came home and they cornered me and acted like it was the ultimate betrayal. David, oh. I didn't know you gave up your purity ring. You're not yeah. Tim Tebow. What is that? What is that TikTok How of the little kid? dare kids? you, Kevin Jonas? What is Step that? to the end. What is he that? was the only one that did. <laughs> what is that TikTok of the little kid reading like a scripture? He's like, you're going to go to hell. It's really bad. It's really oh, bad. You're going to burn. You're going to burn. Gonna it's going to get raped. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. That, that's a posing with the sound. <laughs> I haven't seen the original, but when I came home, that was probably the the first time in my adult life that my parents kind of really like, I don't want to say opposed, but didn't want me to do my own thing. I came home and, and came out to them because, you know, other castmates on the show who I'm who I'm close with, they knew were not straight. I was like, oh, mom, this is this is this person. Oh, who is their ex? Well, their ex was the, like, what was the ex's name? What was his name? I was like, his name was ah, a girl's name. Ah. Was, oh, are you okay with that? And I was like, that was kind of a topic of conversation. And when I kind of came, it was kind of like fumbled out of my mouth over the phone with my mom. And yeah. she acted like it was kind of a betrayal. She was like, what else did you not tell me? Like, have you hurt yourself before? Just kind of like different questions that were surprising to me I, I, that I would have just hoped just would have been in a, like an okay I love you but it was kind of questions like what else are you hiding like what mm-hmm. else have you done can I give you some advice yes from so, because like I you know I joke about those hard times or whatever but my on the show my last show I basically said I did all that because I was I was more afraid of my parents reaction than letting all those terrible things happen to me mm. so kind of like ripping that off my parents got to like let it sink in and actually it's also brought us closer and also you stop caring as much once no. you like immerse it and it's out and mm-hmm. time goes by and pe- it becomes more normal and that's the thing it stops being a thing that you really care about and you kind of like come into your own because a lot of parents make a mistake of this isn't about them like yeah. wh- one thing i hear when you say like oh this thing that you did well what else did you not tell me oh right. this is a betrayal to me it's not about you it's yeah. nothing. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it has nothing to do with them. And I feel like some parents just need time to digest and deal with it and see that you're going to be fine. Yeah. Because a lot of that that fear and, and kind of judgment you're feeling for them mm. is kind of just because they're scared and they want to protect you because they think that you're now going to either get like hate or attacked or have to deal with things because in the world they grew up in, it was a different world. You would have had to experience those things right. much more than you do now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, things are a lot better now, but it was definitely a, a, a tough learning curve for about two months where I wasn't talking too much with my parents, mostly just because they didn't know what to say. I actually got a call from a different family member who pretty much told me, like, what are you doing? Why did you tell your mom this? Also, don't get AIDS. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I told, I was like, to my aunt, I was like, I like guys I'm not saying I'm running in dark alleyways having unprotected sex getting pounded. Yeah, no. Night. Like, I was like, that's that's. Yeah, I mean, even, even if I did want to go do that, then like it shouldn't be a problem, you know? Yeah. But see, you have a good like I'm 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 glad to see how you're now because it yeah. seems like you're like you're not really afraid to rip their bandage off. Mm. And that confidence just gets stronger and stronger. Like I have uncles and cousins to this day who will call me and be like, just let you know, like if because they're super religious, which is fine. I'm always like, that's fine. Mm. But they'll call me and be like, just if you ever do marry a guy, we like can't support that and we we can't go. And I would just respond, What makes you think you're invited? <laughs> what you were like because i do say i want to have like that whole thing with religion it always makes me curious where like i am not as religious as you i honestly don't really agree with your religion mm-hmm. but that has nothing to do with me because it brings you peace and happiness so mm-hmm. like i'm going to support you sure. and the fact that that religion that you hold so special is supposed to make you a better person is preventing families from being together love yeah. from happening and the connections i'm like 
that thing that's supposed to make you better is ruining it's ruining everything about you. Everything about you. And that's sad. I would rather burn in hell as a fag. <laughs> well said. <laughs> I just what? <laughs> now let's go back to you jerking off. How did you how long were you couch jerking? Like when did you when did you actually jerk off for the first time with your hand? So I was watching Spanish TV because we didn't have cable channel 19. Okay. Um <laughs> We also didn't have internet, so I didn't watch porn until I was almost twenty. This is a, a really good story, actually. Like a, a you didn't good watch like porn you're almost twenty. Yeah, a good fluid story. Um, but anyways, so I was watching Spanish TV. I was laying on my stomach, um, and I was just kind of moving and grooving with the beat. And I didn't know. I felt like I was like gonna have a heart attack. I didn't know what was happening. I was, I was mm-hmm. having my my first orgasm. What? I didn't. I didn't know what was happening. I was third because, like, I'm like, how do people figure out how to jerk off? Like, do you have an older brother? It's like, oh, go in the other room and go like this with your dick. I didn't know what to do with my dick. I have an older sister. So do that, I. Wait, that that no 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 sounds no weird at the end. But, no but I don't know what to do with my dick. I have a sister. Like <laughs> no Dave, no, I have I have an older sister and she's the one who t- technically taught me how to jerk off. Oh, she did. She told me one day this I was I was wrong. stomping up the stairs and she told me to go fuck myself and I'm like, ha ha, that's so funny. You can't even do that. She goes, yeah, you can. You grab your dick and you go like that. And I'm like, that's disgusting. Went right upstairs. Ew. Whole new world. <laughs> Whole Smacked new world. Raw, no <laughs> lotion. <laughs> oh, I don't use. I really. Burns. I'm weird. I don't like lotion. It's a lot of cleanup. Man, I was in quarantine for seven days in Korea with no lotion. For that commercial I just did. You were probably cranking it. You lost five pounds. I probably did. Probably did. <laughs> Wait, so, okay, so you you were humping. Yeah. And how old were you? I think I was 13. I was home alone. I was 13. Oh, that's, 13. Not, that's yeah, about that's typical normal. Typical humping age. But I felt, yeah. I fe- once I we figured. Hump, what, boys hump objects. Boys hump objects. Once I had figured out what I'd Let done. boys I, hump. I had. <laughs> hashtag. Retweet. Um. <laughs> Once I figured out like what I'd done, I felt like such a sinner. I went and immediately read my Bible, and I like oh my didn't, god, and I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like I, I feel like I have to give back my purity ring. Like I thought I had to. Oh no, Jesus! I gotta marry the couch, <laughs> <laughs> Couchella. Oh my god! And see that? Excuse me. What the fuck was that? Well, this is my remote. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's why it's it's weird navigating the, this like kind of storyline because David, where he is, because you're young, How, you're twenty four. Jesus Christ! Wow, you're doing? younger than me. Am I a dilf? That hurts my feelings. Am I a dilf? I thought you were younger. No, I'm twenty five. No, that's not that bad. Am I? A, I'm a dilf. <laughs> dilf. Am I a dilf? Do you want to be a dilf? A dilf. You can always be a dilf. Or am I? You're daddy? almost a dilf. For you're no, close. According to David, am I a daddy? No. Why am I? How much did you pay in taxes? Daddy yet, David. Not about you. Oh. My daddy. You want to be a daddy? I kind of want to be a dom daddy top. <laughs> be a dom daddy top. Live your life. Because I'm old. Be a muscle daddy. I'm <gasps> old. Daddy. I'm going to talk like this. <laughs> so they just be like, Work. Boy. boy. Come here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Your little pussy belongs to me. <laughs> I love that. Stinks. <laughs> Your little pussy belongs to me. <laughs> You're going to learn to do what I fucking tell you to. I wanted to. Honestly, Mac, I don't know why. When I was driving here, I was like, I really want to do that TikTok with Mac. What TikTok? You little pussy little belongs pussy to me. Belongs to me. <laughs> is that for the meat cannon video? No, uh, yeah, t- but it's a TikTok sound now. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I'm not on <laughs> TikTok down? that much. Are you ah. down? <laughs> what? Are you down? You don't have to do anything. You just have to stand. There Maybe we'll like, see. We'll see. We'll see. His rates are as follows. Um, I don't. What are your rates? Seven thousand to TikTok for seven seconds. <laughs> Honey, I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna catch. I have because Mac doesn't care about TikTok, and I try so hard now. And it might, if I could just catch him, I won't. But if I could, ooh, I'd feel so good. But I never will. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it's funny because me and David are on such different like experience level spectrums mm-hmm. that it's like I feel like I'm like he looks like that. But it's kind of like I feel like I can't be attracted to the kid because it makes me a pedophile. It's like a child. Wow. He's 24. I know, but he's got the mental capacity of a nine-year-old. Okay. <laughs> it's right Hold, here. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is like, I feel like in a lot of ways I was, I feel like experience wise, I'm at the stage of like a normal, cool, like 15 year old girl. It's like a, like it's like a, like I had the cool period. like a like a fifteen year old girl who like 
flirts with the senior boys and like i feel like that's me like, you're the like the, yeah the freshman that gets hit on by the seniors because you dress a little skimpy yes I'll look at the holes in my, my jeans <laughs> <laughs> they weren't like this when i bought them um <laughs> oh but i was like i i like with the whole religion and just not even out, outside of the religion just being constricted because my parents were i mean they did a, a great job of keeping my sister and i safe i was always safe i never like got into like bad circumstances or scenarios, but I'm like, I never got to experiencing. So even like literally the first, probably from I, I first had sex when I was 20, from 20 to 22, I still had that like virgin guilt. So, Did you ever have virgin what guilt? What is a virgin guilt? It's it was like, like the have... religious virgin guilt. I was like, oh my God, I'm sinning. And like the first girl uh, I slept with. Mary is always watching. That bitch. Yeah. I'm sorry. She's a nice lady. That's okay. <laughs> so my, my last, the last person who I had a, like a full relationship with, I was, I was 20 and that was a girl I lost my virginity to and we went to church together. I was just like, for me that like mind fucked me. And I was like, I had to break up with her cause I had that like religious guilt. And I really, I really feel like I couldn't enjoy sex in general, let alone like sexuality and exploring the spectrum really until after the age of 22, like, like after I finished college, when I lived by myself, that was the first time I really allowed myself to mentally open up. But there are other things out there, you know, I can do more than just missionary, for example. It's like, he's like, you can do other things. Like, I mean, even just like my experiences are just so like. He started living alone. He was like, I'm going to fuck on the roof. I'm going to do doggy style, bitch. Yep. Uh, you do that thing on the side where they lift the up. Side, like, I'm going to Even just fuck. like, 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 <laughs> like exploring myself <laughs> or, or watching, watching like different kinds of porn and, and stuff like that. And that was like. What's your most searched porn topic? All of us answer the question. What you, what's your most viewed? Oh, fuck. I don't fucking know. Say it. I don't fucking know. White muscle gaze. White, muscle. white, white otters. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. I think big butts. I look for bubble asses. Butts. Bubble Just big butts. butts. Jiggly booties, you know. For 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 straight porn, it's usually some sort of like authority figure and then like like You watch like, gay porn? Yes. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm so proud. Oh, it's great. It's like it's like it, it's always like <laughs> it was kinda like I, I had like when I when I came back from X on the Beach, one, one of my friends was like, "Yeah, I kind of feel like you just did it for the show." I was like, "Well, I just jerked off to gay porn yesterday, so I don't." Mm. I was like, "And I I, I came in, in my sock, like I don't I don't know what you want me to like." Dawson's you. fifty like, load weekend. The evidence <laughs> is there. What's that from? Alaska Thunderfuck? <laughs> That's it's a real thing though. I searched it. Oh. I didn't watch it though, but it's there. <laughs> yeah, but for like gay porn, I love to like. It's like. Straight friend let, lets me fuck him when he's not looking that or bro something shit. like that. The this like is broke straight bro boys on like the that couch. Frat he's house like, was it frat house. No, because it's like it's like one never. gay guy and one straight guy. Not like broke back mountain. Like we don't know what we're doing. It's like the one gay guy's like slowly, like you're tricking them pursuing. or like just slow, like nice and easy. Because that's like so more like the energy. baiting. Yeah, you, you you watch baiting video. Okay, like broke straight broke bait. straight broke straight straight dudes broke straight boys mm. bang bus bang bus bang bus bang bus. Or is that one where they? Yeah, is that what the one where they put them like put them in like a, a, a like, a, like a, a band or something, and they they yeah. blindfold them or some shit? Yes, and then that's they, one they of them. tell is you it's gonna be a, they tell you know. it's gonna be a girl, and then they yeah, have a guy, yeah, that's which one of them. Is very dangerous. Thing, yeah, and I, not I mean it's all fake. No, yeah, I haven't it's seen that fake. one. I haven't seen that one. Haven't seen that one. No. What is I, I like kind of feel bad when I do because I still like <laughs> to some degree. I have like diff, like my little different personalities. Like there's still like the little virgin church boy in there that's like, oh my god, like I feel bad. But see, that's why it's hot to you because it's bad. Reclaim if it. If it wasn't yes. so taboo, you wouldn't find it as hot. Maybe. Yeah. No, fuck it. Watch church porn. Mor- Honestly, Mormon boys. That's what, one. What is the craziest <laughs> sexual thing you've ever done? I let someone play with my butt for the first time this year. Oh, my ever. God. Do oh my anything. God. And someone that's insane. insane. Uh, I hope it was a woman. I hope it was pegged. Uh, does she have acrylics? Does she lose one inside of you? Would you ever let a woman finger you with acrylics? Would you ever let a woman would you fi- ever, put a yeah. fi- have you? No, I, ha- would the woman have acrylics? Not was it a woman? Let's start off. No, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> let, no, I like the mystery. I like the mystery. Let, the mystery. Okay, I like okay. The mystery. Keep, keep, keep mystery. Men can have acrylics too. For all you too. know, Mac, and I can't say because the story, it could have been me. You have not seen Mike with acrylics. She's a bad bitch. <laughs> I literally have a YouTube video where I learned how to do it. Boom. Period. That was on your, through your story the other day, wasn't it? No. Some, but, Never mind. <laughs> Do you have a crazy hookup story? It's, it's hookup time with Mike and David. Woo! Yeah. yeah, there's a whole jingle. It makes sense. Okay. Um, do I have a crazy hookup story? Craziest hookup story that you've ever had as a church boy. And I swear to God, if you say that you did it like fucking looking at the mirror or something like that, and that's it, I'm going to kick you in the nuts. No. So this... I, 
I'm gonna. I probably this I, one I have, time, I have a scenario this girl that touched was, my thigh. That, that was that was. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there there's definitely like it wasn't a hookup story. There's one guy in college who's actually on my baseball team who. That's a gay story. Oh my god, I was not expecting it. I mean, I, oh, I wow. kind of have to. Hold on, this wait, one turn. this one short Popcorn. and 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 unsatisfying like myself, but. It was like he got he got drunk one night and he had a girlfriend. Yeah. I was kind of taking mm. care of him. He tried to kiss me, but it was like he had a girlfriend. He had a girlfriend. That's so. But that's amazing. He was drunk and thrown up, so I was like, I can't. Better. He's not gonna remember. But like him and I would always that's, like. That's, that's, oh, that's the, the thing was that's, like him and well, I. Well, let, let's pause this because I don't think that could be considered assault. Can it? I, I guess learned so. somewhere if you have sex with somebody in there. No, drunk, we didn't have sex. We didn't hook up. You didn't do it. Oh no, no. Okay. Just want, okay. no I, David, okay. I don't know where we, were, we, we didn't know where we were. <laughs> That's going. why okay. like, you didn't okay. let me finish. Well, I was okay. Keep going. It was like he tried to kiss me, but like he had been throwing up, so I was like, I don't want to. But him and I had always like cuddled a lot, and I was typically like the smaller spoon. Like he was shorter than I was, but he was like really strong. He could throw me around, and that was the first. Like I'm always, I've always been used to being like the biggest, strongest person. And he kind of threw my ass around. And I was kind of like, I kind of like that. Oh, and he was, he would okay. big spoon me, and he'd be just like, Hey, do you want to come over and cuddle okay. and watch a movie? And we would. David. Yes. I asked you for a crazy sex story, <laughs> and you're telling me by the time you almost kissed a, a drunk dude, you used to cuddle with. Fucking. You better tell me about buddy? a time. You better tell me about a time you fucked the shit out of someone in the next five minutes. And it does not have to be a man. It could be any gender. Well, here's one story that was kind of messy. I mean, it, it can't be best described. <laughs> Other than like a reality TV, like dumpster fire. It was the one night that we all went to that one club. And what was it like Torrance? We, when Carrie was here, when Carrie was in town. Remember that yes. right before COVID? Yes, I had to sleep we, on your couch because I was drunk. No, I. here's Jesus. the thing. Like, the, like long story short, I tried to get you to come home with me, but you wouldn't. I didn't know like what or Where if did I, I want. Go? You drove home. You did. No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not. No, I did not. Did you drive home, Mike? No. I don't know where I slept, but I slept somewhere down there. I do remember. You didn't sleep in my place. I told you, like, t- I was like, it was me, you, and Jay in an Uber. And I was like, Mike, you know what? just sleep over. Mike, I was going to drive over. home. Stupid Michael. And you know what I did? There's a Whole Foods at the bottom of your sleep. I woke up in the parking lot at the Whole Foods. I parked my car in the Whole Foods and I slept in my car. You're talking about you like robbed that. me because I was not going to pre- drive. I couldn't drive. <laughs> you, so, but I didn't want to be like I. I didn't know you were flirting with me. I didn't even. Know, I thought you were straight that night. I was like, I mean, I was. Here's the thing: we we're all drunk. One of the girls who was there, I went on a date with her the night before. She pre-gamed at at my the little place I lived in, Playa del Rey, with a bunch of us. And then we all got there, and I was talking to her a little bit. I was like, oh, da, 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 the date last night. And she was like, oh, I actually ended up going home and like fucking this other guy who's like in our section. I was like, okay, well, like maybe this is why people call you trash because you are. Ooh, that ooh. was I, that was an aggressive moment. And he said, <laughs> but she later got canceled for being racist, so I no longer felt bad. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yes, we don't have to use names. No, we don't. Um, then I remember I was like, Jay was there, and I was like, Jay, like, da da da, like, I'm kind of flirting with Mike. I don't know if I like him. And Jay, Jay's the most like, dude, do whatever you want. I, I don't judge Jay. you. Yeah, Jay's great. Like, he's a little South Florida boy. He's like, dude, do whatever the fuck you want. I was like, okay. I remember, I was, we were drunk David, as shit. If you would have just told me, I would. Ha- well, I didn't know what I wanted to do. All I know is like, I just wanted you to come home with me. I would have. I would have. I said, Mike, stay at my place. I don't want you to drive home. No, I'm good. And you Mike, know what my drunk ass was thinking? I'm not going to fucking sit with this straight boy and get teased all night. <laughs> so then it so was like... talk about sports. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to hook up with someone else. There's another girl there. I thought you were going to hook with up with Carrie? her. Yeah. No. Love Carrie. Well. K- Carrie and I, yeah, Carrie and I, like, really good friends. She also really helped me with, like, before going on X and Beach, like, talking about coming out. And she actually, like, also was was one of the first women who, who was like, I'm comfortable with with you being a man and you not being straight and still seeing you as like a potential someone who I could be with. And I was like, oh, I didn't know other women were like that. Well, I'm surprised they didn't honestly because me and David both know Carrie and we both Carrie from Are You the mm, One? Yeah, and we know her really well. And I'm surprised because I put her down as somebody that can come potentially on from the beach. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I'm surprised they didn't have she her went on. on a different show. I know the... we cannot talk about it. No, we cannot no, no, talk about shows it. out the beautiful monsters creatures. Oh thing. yes, she was the panda. Carousel that's, the panda. Of course, that's what I was talking about. Beautiful yes. monsters that's creatures. I, what mask? It's like it's like dating and like she was a panda. Oh, that Netflix show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's on that. She was. Oh yeah, it was a panda. She was a panda. <laughs> I haven't watched the show. Yeah. Um, uh. um, 
But yeah, I what 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 were we talking about? I don't know. My story is oh, not done. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's what, the story? What, what were you saying? I I, mean, I was like trying to get you to come home. I was like, like I said, I remember, I was actually talking to, to Jordan about this before Excellent Peach. I was like, I was trying to get him home. I was like, once again, I was like, I didn't. And my thing was, I never wanted to like come off as a tease because I truly wasn't trying to be. I was like, I just don't know what I want to do or if I want to do anything. But I was like, I wanted you to come home with me. Okay, now I give you an advice. If you ever yes. flirt with a man, yes. you could be so much more direct with men. Mm -hmm. You don't have to play coy because I know you're used to dating and flirting with girls. So you can't be so direct. You know what I mean? You have yeah. to. That's how you flirt. Flirting with women and dating women is very different than flirting with men and dating men. Which is that's why like i ain't gonna unless you come up to unless you come up to me and say i want to fuck you right now because the answer is 90 percent yes <laughs> let's be real 90 percent to most people it's 90 percent yes i will usually say yes but unless you make it that obvious to me because that's how direct people are i'm i don't put in like i'm just like clueless because guy, because guys, Fair. it's not like it's easier. Like it's less. There's, there's no bullshit. That's what I've noticed. No Even bullshit. with men like flirting with me or in my DMs, they're like, "I'm like, well, there's no, there's no mystery left, left here to our little conversation." Yeah. And I feel like I don't know why. It's more like a game. I know when you're dating women, they like to play muay coy. There's like a lot more games, a little bit. Sure. And I always feel like, I I'm like I, as like a, a a bigger like white dude, the last thing I want to come off as is like. Oh, big conquistador! Like, give yeah, me your no. pussy. Like, Toxic that's the last thing too. Especially since I was 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 raised by all women. My mom told me she was like, "If you ever touch a woman below the waist before you're married, I'm gonna cut your dick off." Like, yeah, stuff like that. Mm. Always respect. I, I'm. I, yeah. I would have to be much more dainty with a woman, but like direct, like Carrie, very direct woman. Jules, the girl from Lohan Beach Club that I was hooking up with, very direct woman. She came to me the first day. She goes, "You're my type. I would hook up with you." And I said, "Say less." <laughs> <laughs> said, say no more. And then they got rid of her and flew in an ex that had a threesome with him and his boyfriend here. And I was like, well, now I'm fucking somebody else, I guess. That's how that went. Fair. Hi, Mac. Hello. I'm here. I'm <laughs> yes. still here. I'm still around. <laughs> that, was our, that was our story. That's something you didn't know from two years ago or three. Was that two years ago? Was that two years ago? It was right before COVID. It was January yeah. 2020. I didn't drive home, though. I told you I slept in a parking lot. I brought, cause <laughs> implied, it was in thank you. implied all right. No. Oh, yeah. What? what was it? I don't even remember where I was. I have no yeah, idea. The thing is, you slept, you parked, and you were fine. I don't even know if I slept. I was in the backseat. I don't know because you know if you Mike's leave. not fine. Imagine Mike's just been a ghost for like years. I'm dead. <laughs> You've just wow. been dead. We find out now this is the movie Ghost Haunting. <laughs> Did you ever have any religious guilt growing up? No. No <laughs> thanks. <laughs> End of that. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Like what? No, I mean, because my family, we 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 weren't we weren't really that religious. Our main it was my great grandfather and great grandmother that were most religious, and then my grandmother was religious. But then everyone else, we were just kind of just going with the flow because you know, like you're Baptist. I was Baptist too, so like in a Baptist religion, you know, we have the very like the patriarch situation. Um, and so our great grandfather was like forcing us to go to church. But then once he died, we all kind of just stopped going because the, the patriarch <laughs> was wow. dead. So I was like, okay, Free you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. So yeah, we yeah. never, we never. I mean, and I was also raised. We, we call it Afro Baptist, which is Black Baptist. So it's, it's pretty different than your experience Work. we don't do yeah, purity sure. rings and all that <laughs> shit, so. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever have any like guilt no i never had like, guilt i never had guilt how old were you when you first jerked off um i was i want to say like 12 11 uh, and when i first like came i got like really hot and i thought i was gonna have a stroke <gasps> did you Same. how old were you do you remember the first time you came it was it was it like was sixth grade, so it was like it was eleven. It was, it was on the couch, okay. channel nineteen. Yeah, mine was, <laughs> was mine was at a, a sleepover. I was at my friend's house, and I was on the top bunk, <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to do this because no one's going to see me, and I did it, and <laughs> I came, felt you, and I came. <laughs> no, no, and, 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 no, no, no been, I don't think anyone did. <laughs> and I came for the first time, and I didn't know what happened, and I'm just because now it's all over me. And I'm on the top bunk. I can't. I didn't know what You're to like, do. Like, did I pee? I didn't know what happened. <laughs> I didn't know what happened. I was like, why is it sticky? Yeah. And I was like stuck and paralyzed. And then I kind of just, I don't know, finagled my way out of that one. Mine. I found out how to masturbate. I didn't even find out from porno. So I found out from reading an article. Like the nerd I am. A studious boy. <laughs> A studious man. <laughs> you ever watch Porn Utopia on HBO? Remember like every Thursday night? Did no. You stay up late enough? Was that how you found out how to masturbate? Oh, you're young. You're young. I don't know too. the fuck that is. I watched. There was a show called Queer Duck. I think it came on Showtime or something or a movie. Queer. And there was a song called Jimmy Couldn't Master Masturbation. And so I searched up what is masturbation, and that's how I learned. See, I didn't have the internet. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you didn't have the internet? Yeah, school was hard. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I didn't. Did you have TV? We did. We didn't have cable though. What? Okay, tell me what it's like growing up in an extremely religious household that's like different from other ones. Like, what's things that you had to do, and why? Explain it to me. I'm not. I'm not being. I'm not making it a joke. Oh I'm no, genuinely one curious. go to church. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't do that. <laughs> was thing? What were things that we had to do? Like, do, what was? They, did you like? What? What is difference? What is the difference between like an extreme, like a family that's very religious compared to one that's not? Like, did you have to do any specific tasks or like rituals and chores and that kind of stuff? We definitely had chores. We went to church on Wednesdays and Sundays, which is pretty standard. But I mean, I just feel like in general, my parents are more conservative than other parents you didn't have to like read the bible or do like a hail mary every night we didn't have to we didn't we didn't have to our parents were actually very cool about you know they told us like you know like you live in our house right now and you're young enough that you know we we feel like you should respect what we want you to do as your parents and we want you to go to church but once you're at a certain age it was like 13 or 14 they're like you can decide to stay home if you want to okay so they, they were like very that. so my, my parents approach was very much so like they're like there's parameters but they're like we're gonna kind of let you do what you want to do yeah i loved it. i actually do like your parents yeah they're incredible they took a little bit to get warmed up because i came in very strong yes his mom so peggy, you can see peggy is ooh my girl She's, and oh now da- and it's How funny because david strong though david likes to get do? pegged what oh his no. mom's name is peggy and he likes to get pegged How the, funny the, is the, t- okay. the tma song <laughs> tma oh, I thought, need, i'm sorry i'm seeing need bugs do that I've been sober for weeks. I'm seeing shit. You good? Yeah, I think my contacts have been in a little too long. Should we do a game or like a little quiz? We can like end it on that. Should we? Should we? How much? Let's 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 start. Stop. Let's take a let's take a quick break. Don't we have a message from our sponsor? Oh yeah, this is sponsor. Oh, this is a perfect time. Thank thank. Do it again. (laughs) I'm keeping this in. And now a message from. No no, pass to me. My. What? Say, hey, Mac, I think we got a message from our sponsor. Hey, Mac, I think we have a message from our sponsor. Oh, my God, Mike, I think you're right. Take it away, Mac. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Raycon. A lot of people didn't even make resolutions this year, and you know what? I get it. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't still find a way to shake things up, whether it's by switching up your workout routine or going someplace new. Whatever way you challenge yourself this new year, there's no better way to do it with a pair of Raycon wireless earbuds in your ear. Raycon wireless earbuds are the best way to bring audio with you no matter how much you shake things up. Literally no matter how much you shake, you know they won't fall out of your ears. Their everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. There's also awareness mode for when you need to listen to your surroundings so you can take Raycons with you wherever you go. With optimized gel tips for the perfect inner fit, these earbuds are so comfortable and they will not budge trust me as you guys know this has been a sponsor for us for like two years now i absolutely love raycons i love the base they carry and they literally do not fall out your ears literally i brought them on plenty of plane rides never have they ever fallen out but other earbuds other earbuds i don't want to talk about that's just snapple i lost a couple times while on planes while i was falling asleep because they just slip right the heck out girl right the heck out i take raycons with me to the gym and i'm on my runs i know a girl works out sometimes i know that's very surprising for some of y'all to hear raycon offers eight hours of playtime and 32 hour battery life and their price just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. It's no wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 48,000 five-star reviews. Right now, Messy Pod listeners can get 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash messypod. That's buyraycon.com slash messypod to save 15% on Raycon. Buyraycon.com slash messypod. M-E-S-S-Y-P-O-D. And thank you so much, Raycon, for sponsoring this episode. Now back to it! Wow! Wow! Oh my god, that sponsor uh, was so good thank you so much raycon oh thank you raycon i think it's raycon (laughs) um so we have articles articles sent to me by michael morderic production about um dating advice for bisexual fluid gay men present because it's (laughs) well because you're like a baby gay yeah, I don't it's know. New for you. You're doing really well. Thank you. But I, I feel like Mac, That's like you've heard me tell you a million things by now. Have you, have you been to the bars? Have you been out with the girls? I, I used to work at the bars. You used to work at the bar? What bar? On si- Mickey's. Oh. I, I went under the name of anything of, about you, David. Of Brock when I was 21. His name is Brock. Yeah. It was Brock. A, well, I was a shot server. You, <laughs> Brock? Brock. Not Barack, but Brock. 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 I was shot server at Mickey's name Brock. Name Brock. 
That that fits. Do you remember what my old name back in the day was? No. I my, my alias name? Guess. Dan. I don't know. What do you think it was? My only one. You have to know the last name because if you Google the full thing, I'm fucked. I'm blanking. I, I have nothing. Trent. Reggie. Trent. 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 Such a porn a star one. name. Yeah. That's my porn star name. My por- it's, no, there's nothing on Google. But if I did, if I was a porn star, I would, I would be Buddy Lane. Buddy Lane. Buddy Lane. Buddy Lane. Why? My dog's name was Buddy, and I grew up on Petermill Lane. <laughs> Buddy Lane. I'd be Little Do Eucalyptus. What would your porn name be? <laughs> my porn name. <laughs> street you grew up on. Uh, well, pet, first pet's name and street you, street you grew up on. Niagara Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> We'll Not, take it. Not you know. kitty and she don't spitty. <laughs> Not Niagara kitty and Niagara. she don't spitty. <laughs> wow. Put that on the shirt. Next question. What Man. else they got on there? <laughs> <laughs> um, These are like serious. Are Ask okay them. Okay. Yeah. It says you're not obligated to put bye on your dating profiles. Let's discuss. Well, no. Do you feel like you are going to need to prove? Because the question, um, well, or like should like should I tell? It's saying you're not part- obligated to tell someone you're bi or fluid prior to going on a date with them. Well, how do you feel about this? Because I will say this. Sure. Uh, I just think you should just be honest with anybody you're dating. Mm. But it also doesn't matter because... Well, it depends if you're monogamous or not. If you're in a monogamous relationship, in the long run, it shouldn't matter. Yeah. But if you don't want to withhold anything from your partner, you should tell them. How do you, what do you feel comfortable with? I feel like that that is is a conversation that that progresses with time it's definitely not going to be i don't think it's going to be a first date conversation and more so like if as we're getting to know each other in my personal experience in the past before publicly coming out you know i I was typically dating and like you know hooking up to like like having sex with women and whenever that conversation did come up all except one time was it a a taboo Mm -hmm. like i had like just had sex with a woman and she was telling me about how she had slept with women. I told her, I was like, I'm actually sexually attracted to men too. I, I, my exploration with men physically is very minimal, but I'm definitely interested. And she got completely turned off. Yeah. Which was, so I, that, that really made me want to keep it to myself. And I even feel like now, even with like training clients or people that I meet, sometimes I kind of like, like stumble over my words when I'm, when I'm speaking to women about being sexually fluid. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. it is going to be something that you have to deal with because mm-hmm. a lot of because like a straight guy will never like be turned off when a girl is like I'm bi they're gonna be like hot yeah. but there's a lot more stigma on on men you yeah know what I mean because girls sure. it's hot for guys it, it kind of makes you look weaker or that's what they think it's, it's like oh it's like oh or you're just gay or you're just gay and in denial and it's yeah. like that's not true trust me mm-hmm. and the <laughs> one reason I bring it up trust I Mike all, like I literally trust Mike. <laughs> yeah no trust me because it's one of the comments like all the time I. On the comments of the video, I thought he was gay. I thought he was, oh, he's straight now. No, he's fluid. What is he trying to do? And that's the most hate I get is from gay men. Gay men are the worst. Yeah. Women who care about it are, aren't as direct about it. But gay men, if you're going to get hate from any people, it's going to be gay men. But it's yeah. only because they want to fuck you. And, <laughs> and they yeah. want you to be just for them. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I feel like, like, at the answer to the question, after a certain amount of time, you know, if you want to move forward with that person, then I think that's an appropriate conversation. Because, you know, you want the, when you get to that certain point where you want to maybe be in a relationship, you want that person to love the full you, not just what they know and what they see. I like that. And that's the tea. I think everybody should just be I bi. also agree as a yeah, as, 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 fe- as a fellow as a fellow by bisexual <laughs> which I am now today, um, to be a part of this. Welcome. I I I feel I I I feel <laughs> um date other bi people. I'm not saying you only have to date other bi folks, but I will say it's easier. Let's discuss. <laughs> Do you agree? Is dating other bestials better of an experience than uh, it's dating? Not, not that it's better. None. It's easier. Bestials. What? How is it easier? What makes it easier? There's They have a sense of understanding that people who aren't bi won't have. 
Like yes. they get it where like you can't straight people will never have to emp- have the ability. If you to get empathize. it. You get it. If you, you don't, you don't. The, the dolls are doll. Doll. <laughs> dolls are the doll. But there's there's um other bi people can empathize. As if you're in a heterosexual relationship, relationship, they can only sympathize different things. Yeah. Yeah. Team and Carrie was her. was really that that first person for me. Her and I never dated. We tap kissed maybe maybe twice in our lives. We understood like, okay, like no, we're just friends. But she her I I'm in love with the energy and like the person who she is. Like she's obviously as a friend, but you know, she's an incredible person. She really made me realize I was like, oh my gosh, like maybe I should maybe not pursue like or like open open oh, just open my I'm not making sense. No, you are. No, keep yeah. going, bro. Keep like, like op- open up. You're thing. getting there. I'm holding in a pee right now, Mike. You can go pee. You want to pee? No, no. I want to. I want to finish what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> I want to uh, finish before I pee. Pee. Um, <laughs> like a puppy. Um, yeah. My friendship with Carrie really made me realize. I was like, uh, like she is such an an understanding and like you said, an empathetic person towards my my sexuality. And for me, I feel like really when I connect with someone on more of a spiritual level like that, I become that much more like physically attracted to someone, even though her and I never went there and we've never been more than friends. Mm. But she really opened my eyes to like, oh, there's more than one type of person, one more than one type of guy or a girl or whatever else in between like out there. Wow. Wow. I think that's a very good answer. I also I relate as a fellow. Do you want um, to pee real quick? Really bad. Go ahead, go pee. Sexually, um, we're gonna keep going. I'm just gonna have Mac talk. by person in the room. All all three sexually fluid people here sitting in this podcast. <laughs> um, I would like. I was shining. Yeah, I find it's so it's so easier when you're when you're dating a fe- a fellow. Bisexual. B- b- um. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's just you, 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 you feel like like mm-hmm. they just like they like get it, <laughs> yeah. Because you know, other people don't. What is it like to fuck a girl? Oh, dude, let me tell you. Wait, bro, t- bro, bro, wait, bro. You remember, know, don't forget when I when I, when I when I st- when I stick these two fingers up the puss, and man, one of the stink, bro. <laughs> one of the stink. You ever is fucking... that really a thing? I don't is know. two in the pink, one in the sink a thing? Have you never tried that? Imagine. Can you do that? Can you, can you, can you imagine this is a dick and this is a butt and you go, and you go. David's back. David's back. David's back. David's back. back. Hi, David. (laughs) Never feel as if you need to justify your bisexuality. Bisexuality. Oh, you know, you know where we can find out the answer to that? Because we definitely talk about that on the show. You know where you can find out tea about the show? On our Patreon! Oh, my God. Guys, David, shut up. David, shut your David, fucking mouth. David, talking. stop Mike's talking. Gonna, Mike's going to go on a roll. Guys, our Patreon, Wowie Caboodles, Jesus Christ, for you know, David, he's here, uh, and all you Christian <laughs> fans out there listening. Our Patreon is doing so, so good. Patreon.com slash MessyPod. Me and Mac just did every episode of UK vs. The World Drag Race. Mm-hmm. And we are about to react and review to every single episode of X on the Beach US season meow, five. Meow, 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 meow. So if you want to find out the real tea, the tea you didn't get to see, the things that you want to know, you got to sign up on Patreon. And this is not only because if people on the show want to find out what I'm saying about them and all the shit I'm talking, they'd have to pay for it first. Uh, this is because we just want another avenue to be able to tell you guys the tea. I just want to spill some tea. And we want money. So stop on by and give us five dollars. We're currently at <laughs> well, we're currently at uh, about eighty. 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 And I was at a hundred. We had to do our hundred goal. When we get to a hundred, we're gonna do something special. I don't. I. I would get a little tattoo. A I get a me- tattoo. Do you want to get like messy? Yeah, man. Or a little bi- my podcast microphone somewhere. We'll get a little tattoos. Little microphone. Let's go to Venice and we'll get a little tattoo somewhere. I'll get it on my butt cheek or something. Yeah, I'll put it on my like ankle. I don't know. What's less painful? I've never had a tattoo before. Like my first oh, it would be tattoo. First, would you get it? Would it, it would be the podcast. Are you okay with that? <laughs> Ew, what the fuck? No, yeah, I'll do it. I, I want to do something tattoo. memorable. We've done this for three years. I want to do one at the end of my tour, but I never did. Yeah, let's do it together. And then if we hate each other, I could put a big X over it. True. So maybe, you know what? Tattoo, if you guys have different ideas, let us know in the comments on our Patreon. 
And because that was just one of the comments we got, and that's one I think sounded really good. So that's it. Patreon, link in the description below. Boop, 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 boop. Let's do a few more, and then we will wrap up. Yeah, your thing is blinking, girl. Oh, let's do one more. And then let's do we'll one more, and then we'll <laughs> kick you out. Um, uh, uh, where can people find you, David? <laughs> where, where can people find me? Yeah, where can people where find, can find you? you? Like like on social media? Yes. No, no David. No. What's your fucking where, address? Where 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 do you come? I, I, I can't knock you on your door. I, I told you, Mickey's Brock. No, no you um, have until this dies. So okay. if you don't get to say give that. us your socials, okay. we're gonna be fine. You my my, ins- you. my Instagram and my TikToks are both at the real D Bart, but I do have a spam TikTok that's at Big Tasty. Oh yeah, <laughs> Big Tasty. Oh yeah. At Big Tasty, oh yeah, I have one video with one view, and it was from me. Amazing. <laughs> I will put links to all David's stuff in the description below because Mac will forget. Yes. Where can people find you, Mac? You can find me anywhere. If you search Mac, that is, oh fuck, shit. That is, um. T R E E. No, that is R O S E. R O S E. Like my asshole. Um, where can we find you, Mike? You can find me everywhere if you go fuck yourself. And don't forget to always follow all of our socials at Messy Pod and send in any hookup time stories, Keeper or Creepers, Gay Agendas, What the Fuck Florida's, yeah, to mess- MessyPod at gmail.com. And also shout out to the person in front of my face for last week's uh, week video, which I don't uh, know because I wasn't in last week's fully. I don't know if I made one, but that's it. You it's will you'll be in the end of it. Okay. Well, yeah. Shout out to you. And then... You've been David. Say, say, douched. look, look into that camera and go. You've been douched. Have you ever douched? Have you ever douched? I've I've bidet. How do you douche? Do you know what douching is? Do you know what douching we is? We forgot the most important question. Yeah. Oh my god. What is it? You got to. You don't know. You don't know. You bottom because you're gonna be a bottom. I know you like things your butt. You gotta. You gotta douche. You gotta get a thing of water, and you kind of you fill it with water and you squirt it up your butt, and you gotta push it all this stuff out to clean out the inside of your ass. That's how you get fucked, David. Yeah. So there's no shit. I just started it's cleaning my ass time. in the shower for the first time okay, like six months so ago. We're gonna okay. have, I'm going to make a video on my YouTube channel with David where I teach him how to douche. So go check that <laughs> Very out. Very dainty wavy of you. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be on the Patreon. Look at the camera and go, and you have just been douched. And you have just been douched. Bye. Bye. Bye.